Welcome back to this new video of Express. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Doodle. So if you don't know what exactly is Doodle and why using it, basically as its core, Doodle is a powerful online scheduling tool decided to find the best time for a group to meet. So instead of endless email replies, you're proposed of a few options and everyone votes in their availability, you can eliminate back and forth, no more long email threats, you can save time and work for anyone. So participants don't even need a Doodle account. It's simple and intuitive. Just, just need a cast to have a professional scheduling and make this easier. So the first thing to do is to create an actual first group poll, the most common uh, use, of course. So I'm gonna be creating group poll. This is perfect for team meetings, casual hangouts, or even any involving multiple people. So I'm gonna head into doodle.com. Here to create a doodle. Inside doodle, it's gonna be asking, of course, to create an action account. Since I already have an account, what I'm gonna be here is to just hit into the options and create account to the upper side. Which in this case here it is. I hit for continue, and my account should be created right away. Now inside my total, I can start by creating a group poll. For example, what is the occasion? In my case, let's say for example this is my birthday. Now the description optional, let's say for example these are the instructions to meet because of my birthday. There we go. Then here are some AI suggestions. For example, the tone, the length short, medium, and here are all the currently plans that we currently have. Let's go for it. get a suggestion, apply it, and description should be added right away. Now the location, we can add a location or to enable the video conferencing. So here into my location, let's say that I wanted to just enable the video conferencing. And I have used tools, for example, there's the Meet, there's the Zoom, and there's much more. In my case, I would be using Google Meet and we can connect Google Calendar later. And I'm gonna be adding some times. For example, the duration of this video conference is just, for example, less than 60 minutes. And this should be, I'm gonna go for the whole month and change this for Tuesday. Starting time, 2.50, duration 30 minutes. And I, there you go. Now, this is a pro person where you can remove ads. We can send automatic reminders. We can set a deadline. We can hide the test and list, send advice from Doodle, Google Maps location, and much more. In my case, I'm going to just focus with the uh, free version and creating share. When you have check out the creating share, we can go for the option that says copy the link. Then I'm going to just open a new tab into a new browser. And inside here, I'm gonna paste the two links just to make sure this actually worked it. To see what exactly happened and what I can do and see the behavior of what's gonna be happening here into this doodle uh, schedule element. So I'm gonna say accept and stop voting. So let's say here is uh, schedule for the best hours. So there's only one vote here. This is, for example, like a poll. So I can head back and I can edit this specific poll whenever I want to. For that, I can focus directly into my account and focus into my dashboard. Inside my dashboard, what I want to do is to locate where does my doodle has now been created so I can just edit that specific doodle. For example, this one. I click into this specific doodle. There we go. And inside this doodle, I'm gonna just try to look out for edit so I can add two more dates so they can start with an actual poll. There we go. Now I can save this. And once this has been saved, I'm gonna hit back into the same link. And let's see if the schedules has now been added. There we go. We have now three different schedules. I'm gonna go for the second one and head up with continue. Now my name, I can add an email and sent my boat. And my answer should be added in here. I'm gonna close this and open this so I can see that I have my new post added here. And there we go. Basically, that's how we can actually get started with Dodo. There are much, much more elements that we can use to get started inside your actual Dodo. You can go directly here into the dashboards and we can create more stuff to get started. We can compose create sign-up sheets, one-on-one list, a booking pages, and so much more. 
Let us know in the comments below what you think about this great application and what are the main reasons you're using Dodal. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully with all this being said, we can all see you guys next time. See you soon.